and, and you're, the, you're the big travel vlogger and the big traveler. And, you know, we're both big travelers, but boy, I got to try to keep up with you. Um, <laughs> uh, what first sparked your interest in travel? Oh, man, that's a hard question because I think like a lot of people, it's always it's always been in the back of my mind, like, and, and I think part of that is the family you grow up into, uh, for context, like my dad worked for Canadian immigration. So, uh, he, I've, I've always, I grew up in a family where the idea of like immigrants and different cultures and, and connecting with different people, that was a good thing. Like, I always thought that was a good thing before I even had time to consider that it wasn't. Some people, I think, aren't fortunate to grow up in that mindset. Some people grow up in communities where they just see people who are different than them. And it's like, oh, you know, they're trying to take our jobs or whatever. You know, there's that whole. And I think that really, like, it might seem different than travel. But I think if, you're, if your mindset is positioned that way, then you're, you're not so interested in going to places where people look and speak and act differently than you're used to. Whereas for me, I was always curious. I always wanted to see these places. I, I had a, a love for that from a very young age. Um, but the big, actually, it's, it's very interesting because Guatemala, in some sense, was the kickoff. Because when I was in university, I took a summer class. This is many years ago now, over 10 years ago, about 10 years ago, actually. Uh, I had a six-week exchange program to Guatemala were my were my class we went down there and we were traveling the country and we were studying uh kind of the socioeconomics of it was a sociology class and we were studying the situation in guatemala kind of the history of guatemala the politics of guatemala uh we lived on a coffee plantation for a little bit and it was it's a really remarkable trip that opened my eyes to what travel could be like um so guatemala was a big part of it and then after university, my first big journey living in another country was when I moved to South Korea. And at this point, uh, I didn't have any job prospects. I, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, particularly with my life. I just knew that I wanted to go somewhere different. I wanted to be part of that travel wave. Uh, so I started teaching English. I found a job teaching English uh, that actually was a pretty, it was a pretty great gig because it paid for my flights to South Korea. They gave me a free apartment in South Korea. And then I'm there teaching English to school children um, and getting paid pretty decent money too, because the, the demand for teachers in some parts of Asia is so high. At least it was six, seven years ago. I'm, I'm sure it still is. Um, but yeah, teaching English was how I started living in another country. And, and how long were you in South Korea? So the, the contract I signed was for a year. I lasted eight and a half months. I almost, I, I looking back, I probably should have completed it, but uh, there were pro there were problems with my school. That's a whole nother story. But uh, yeah, long story short, yeah, like do a bit of research if you're taking this path on what school you sign up for, because mine was not the greatest. But the experience of living there and the chance to travel and save money was great. So. I think for anyone who's starting out and wants to travel, I would just like encourage them to think about travel as maybe living in another country, because even if you're living somewhere and you're working, it's not like you're, you know, uh, moving from hotel to hotel, but it is still traveling in a sense. Like every day is still new. Like every day for you in Guatemala is a, you know, you might be working on your business on what you, your professional duties, but still you're experiencing that travel feeling, right? Yeah, you've got something new to experience every day. I mean, whether it was a couple of days ago, oh, let me try this, you know, a new hamburger, you know, this hamburger place yeah. that's a local chain down here, you know, things like that. Just, you know, walking into the Oakland Mall, you know, okay, it's another mall like anywhere else, but just to see uh, this is another side of Guatemala City that many people don't necessarily think of when they think of Guatemala. Exactly.